Oh, hi everybody, today is the 20th of uh, July 2023, it's 11.22 a.m., it's 84 degrees, it's mostly sunny, yeah, so, and today we are going to talk about life is your own decision, life is your own decision. I was not, I was not around because I was on vacation and uh, we were busy with uh, with all those stuff, but now I am back. <laughs> so life is all your own decision. You're gonna face lots of challenges in your life. You're gonna face uh, you're gonna face lots of difficulty. You're gonna face lots of uh, lots of things that you don't want to face. It. You wanna you wanna have amazing life you have you want to have a godly life you want to have a very spiritual life but some people do not uh, some people are not uh, like uh, in uh, like uh, interested in this spiritual life and we're gonna fix that because because God loves us we have the Holy Spirit in our uh, in our hearts and God says to love your neighbor as you love yourself because you have friends and those are your neighbors. So your neighbors are your friends. You're supposed to be respecting them. Just that God respected the all 12 disciples. So, uh, so the thing is that in your life you're doing billions of things. But we have just 24 hours a day. We have just, we have just seven days a week. We have just uh, 365 days a year. But guess what? We will go to heaven as soon as we can. Because God is coming back to the, uh, uh, coming back to the world. And he is going to turn it. Uh, uh, level up this world because it's not gonna you know it's not gonna it's not gonna be like mm, yeah, the day of the mm, you know the days of the, the day like today like good and evil is happening but just good just good is gonna be happening so you have to be very patient uh, we have to be very, uh, very patient, very, very patient. What is going to go on in this, uh, in this, uh, in this world, in the end times that, uh, lots of, uh, lots of big events are going to go on, um, uh, in, uh, uh, what it says in the book of Revelation, that is gonna. Uh, that is go uh, uh, the events are gonna happen based on the Book of Revelation. That means there are gonna be lots of uh, uh, lots of uh, big events going on and lots of stuff uh, going on. So people, we, we we are Christians that we are getting ready for it that we are getting ready for it we are trying to under uh, trying to uh, understand more of the definition of the world we are trying to uh, we are trying to respect our society more you know the thing is that in the uh, that in the bible says that in the Bible says you have to watch out because evil days are coming means that means that the persecution the persecution because you are a Christian that you should be thankful for it because persecution it is uh, it is uh, the thing that you might. Um, that you deserve because you love God. You really love God, and this is the and this is the thing that you really 
yeah, that you are really, really happy for. So you are unhappy, very happy for because you believe in God, because you worship Him, because you singing the worship music, because you are going to church. You are you are in this kind of uh, in this uh, kind uh, of uh, life that you are focusing. I'm worshiping in God, and this is the most important thing in this, in your life, to worship, to worship the true Lord. So, the Bible says uh, that Psalm chapter 121 verse 7 uh, through 8 says, The Lord will keep you from all harm he will watch over your life the lord will watch over your coming and going both now and forevermore so the lord is gonna watch over your life the lord is gonna watch over your life this is what david says uh, in the book of psalms that he will that the Lord will watch over your life. Lord Jesus will help you watch over your life because He loves you, because He because He forgives you from all your sins, because you are His child. We are all children of God. That those people who are Christians, those are children of God. Those people are not Christians. They are, they are in the devil's sight. But we are focusing on the good side right now because the devil's side, we do not deserve it. We do not, we do not deserve those kinds of, um, those, those kinds of treatments. And those people who believe in God who believe in the Lord, who believe in Jesus, that, that is the name of the true Lord, the Father, the, uh, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and He is a true God, that who, who we want, who we want to believe in our life. And lots of, uh, in our life, we have lots of good things going on. We have friends, we are going to school, we have family, we are doing uh, what do we need to do, what, uh, sometimes we're doing what we want to do, sometimes, um, sometimes, there are, sometimes there are like magical events coming, like, you know, Christmas, our birthdays, New Year's Eve, some kind of wedding anniversaries, a wedding is coming over, you know, those are those spiritual events uh, that we are celebrating all the time. That we are celebrating once a year because our birthday is once a year, New Year's Eve is once a year, and a wedding anniversary is once a year, Christmas is once a year. So that is the thing that people are so happy. And those kinds of, and those kinds of spiritual uh, events. Uh, in Ephesians chapter five, fifteen, sixteen says, "Be very careful then how you live, not as unwise, but as unwise, making the most of every opportunity, because the days are evil." Listen to me right now. The days are the day. The days are evil, and the days are the days of evil are gonna come to the end because God is gonna take those days to the trash, and He is gonna go back to, uh, and He is gonna change all of this. He's gonna change all this. Yeah, stuff to mm, from evil to plain good to all good, and those uh, and the other people are gonna end up in the lake of fire. So I'm very sorry for that. Uh, 
Are we gonna see our children in heaven? Of course we are gonna see our children in heaven. There's lots of kids that they went uh, that they went to heaven because they want healing from God. They want to uh, they want to they want to respond to God face to face. And kids are going there to glorify our Lord. Uh, there is a story, heaven is for real, that that boy had a was really really sick and he went to the hospital. He had forty degrees of um, he had forty degrees of um, uh, temperature and he and. Uh, and his mother and his uh, parents were really terrified that some kind of a virus is eating that boy. But that boy went to the hospital, and then, and then from the hospital, he ha uh, uh, he uh, from the hospital, he had something going on that God gave it to him. That God. Uh, was trying to picture with that boy how his heaven really looks like. So that boy went to the church, went to church, and he saw something like an open, like an open thing, like a, the most beautiful thing, the beautiful thing in his life. And that was heaven. And he was standing and he was sitting at the church and watching the whole thing. There were angels flying around. They were, um, and Jesus uh, came over and uh, had a talk with that boy. And that boy was healed from that sickness. Because the demon was cast out. The demon gave the virus because that boy wants to uh, uh, because that boy is sick. The demon was trying to attack his, attack his life. The demon was trying to attack his body and it was so, it was terrible. But God, Jesus, who, that Jesus, who came over from heaven and meet that boy, he healed that boy immediately. But the parents didn't believe that that boy saw heaven. They were, they were saying, uh, uh, him, uh, they, were, uh, they were saying lots of kumbaya stuff that really didn't make any sense. But that boy believed himself, and that bo that boy believed that he saw heaven. He believed in himself. You have to believe in yourself, my friends. Lots of uh, in lots of events, uh, like you want to rescue somebody, you want to rescue your pet, you want to rescue your best friend, you want to rescue. You want to rescue somebody, you have to believe in yourself. You have to look, you, you, you know, doesn't matter what is in the inside. What it matters is what is in the outside going on surrounding you. The society, the world is counting on God. You know, the, the thing is, that uh, that God is gonna heal lots of people, and that and the evil days are gonna come to the end. Proverbs chapter twenty seven verse nineteen says, "As water reflects the face, so one's reflect uh, so one's reflecting the heart." So people, so people, uh, so just like the mirror. So what is re reflecting the good mirror? And the clean water, that's what is reflecting the good stuff. That, that is what is reflecting the pure heart, love, friendship, loyalty, goodness, gentleness. Uh, what, is, um, what is trying to do to explain to you something 
that you are a good person and you deserve the kingdom of heaven. That's what you deserve. That's what you that's what you deserve to get a good a good heaven go. So this is your destiny now. Right now. Second Corinthians five seven says, For we live by faith, but not by sight. We are living in the God side. We are living by faith. We are not living in somebody's side except in God's side because God loves us the most. But what, what they try to say in the Bible that mm, what they trying to say in the Bible about be living living by faith, not by sight means that be, we are living by prayer. That we are living by prayer. But that, be, that we are living by living by people who are good and spiritual and they are living with Jesus. And God it was really God is really working on it right now. That's because we are in the that is because we are in the uh, almost in the black force. That doesn't mean that God is not with us because God is with us because He's trying to heal us. And God is trying to trying to set up set up the place that God is gonna tell where you're gonna go. God is not setting up hell, but God is setting up the kingdom of heaven for you, for other, for other people, for, for people who deserve to go to the kingdom of heaven. And that is the truth of the Bible. You must believe in the truth of the Bible. You must believe in Jesus. Worship God, and that's how the heavenly gates are opening. The heavenly gates are opening, my friends. And this is the most important event of our lives. Let me say this. If you believe in Jesus, you are entering the kingdom of heaven and you have more, you have, you, uh, you have no pain, no sadness, no anger, nothing like that. But in he uh, hell is darkness. <laughs> but in hell is darkness and, and bad stuff going on. So think about it. Think about how you, how you responding to your life? How are you treating your your own body? How are you treating your own yourself? How are you treating your your uh, your people? How are you treating your friends? How are you treating your family? Think about this, because some 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 of the things that you're doing good, and some of the things. You're doing, you're doing wrong, and this is how the lot, the spiritual life, looks like. In Jesus' name, Amen. Thank you, Lord, for this amazing thing. What we heard today. Thank you, Lord, for uh, being such a goodness to us, and let people come to you, Lord. Because people deserve that. People do not want harm. Don't want harm. Don't want any attack. Don't want any abuse. Don't want anything like that. That the demon is destroying the world. But God is going to fix it. Thank you so much.
and I will see you in Monday. Shockers out. Have a great weekend, and you deserve it.